All right, so we got here a HP laptop, an all-in-one system. This is a 27-K001A model, i7, fourth generation. Apparently, it's very slow. So let's have a look why. Uh, HP has a diagnostic utility built in, so we can boot into that. Um, DPS self test, let's have a look at that. So that does a drive test and see if there's any problems. There is a one terabyte hard drive and we suspect something may be wrong with it. 217 minutes, wow. No, I don't want to do, do that test, that's too long. Um, Post messages enable. Post delay, that's fine. F10, F10. And for Dell, for HP, I think it was escape key to bring up the menu. Escape two times. Ah, we missed it. Windows 10 is starting up. That's fine. Let Windows 10 start up and we'll have a look at the event viewer to see if there is a fault we can identify. I'm going to close the screen so we don't see all the files. I'll bring in the HDMI connection shortly. You can see the boot process is very slow. A good indicator is if you can see the hard drive light and if it is um, staying solid like on, that's an indicator the hard drive is also faulty. And looking for a hard drive indicator. Yeah. There's a hard drive indicator on this side. So I'll switch the camera. Yeah, that's the hard drive indicator right there. Had a customer earlier. You can see the hard drive light is blinking continuously. To me, that is an obvious sign. It's a hard drive problem. And to confirm it, by the way, I haven't worked on this computer yet. First time. Uh, I'm going to log into the system. Cool. It uses the uh, infrared uh, NFC chip, which is nice. Okay, I'd like to use. We don't have an NFC card. It's extremely slow, just not responding. Um, what I mean is, I'll just switch the camera, you can see. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, this is a user account. I, can, I should be able to click onto something. It's a touch screen. But I should be able to move the mouse. A mouse is frozen. So the whole thing is frozen. I can't do click, click, click. No. If I don't touch and tap, 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 they're not working. Okay, so this is a hard drive issue. We don't need to run uh, diagnostics. And we're going to shut the computer down by force and straight away clone the machine across. It has a one terabyte, and we're gonna clone it with a one terabyte as well. Okay, so we're gonna use, normally I'll use Macrium, but I'm gonna use another utility. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Ubuntu. I'm going to use um, DD utility, which will be more reliable. I can do backwards, forwards, two times until all the sectors are red. Um, which may be a bad thing because they may not have that much data. So if they don't have a lot of data, it's more better to use a better cloning software like Paragon, Aquinas, or something else. Um, the reason why I don't want to use Macrium because when it detects a bad sector or there's some issues, it 
does not retry, which is very annoying. Um, so I'm going to go into BIOS F10, change the boot options and disable secure boot because with secure boot you really can't do much. Uh, F10. Uh, legacy boot options is enabled, that's good. Uh, let's go and try and get into BIOS again, F10. Fails, okay, do that again. I may need a real keyboard, not a wireless USB. So, get that. By the time the USB sometimes initializes, it's too late, we can't get into bio, so keep tapping F10. There we go. And let's have a look at boot order. Legacy boot is disabled, so let's go to security first. Device configuration, no. Storage, no. No. Security. Uh, device security. Secure boot configuration. Secure boot configuration. Yes. Okay. And we would like to enable legacy boot. Uh, first, we need to disable secure boot. Fast boot, we want to turn that off. So legacy enable, secure boot disable, fast boot disable. F10, F10, F10. Save changes and exit. So I'm going to reboot into my uh, preferred recovery uh, cleaning tool. And see how we go. I'll see you when the cloning is finished. So the cloning has finished successfully. And there were reading errors as well. Input output error. And we skip all the errors. So we've got a direct clone of the hard drive. Now it's a matter of installing the hard drive. Let's give that a go. Okay, so we're going to install the hard drive that we cloned. This is a very heavy unit. So you want to protect it. Put it on a soft cloth facing down. I'll be using a bubble wrap. And I'll lay the screen flat. Okay. Alright, so 
that's the model information too. Recline 27 Smart, take a photo of that. Okay. Hmm. There is a problem with this camera. So supposedly we should be able to pop this open. Hmm. So these two latches come in. <clears throat> there we go. So that's the RAM upgrade, that's the hard drive, that's a nice design, I like it, looks simple. Wow, that is very efficient, good on your HP for this. and just slide it back in right and that's it that's the Seagate one terabyte Samsung but it's actually a Seagate you can see momentous lift this baby up and we shall get a nice smooth running Windows 10 machine and I'll show you the event logs which I haven't seen yet but probably has God, uh, notifications about hard drive failing
being repaired. So this is uh, 5.28 p.m. when we were working on it. That's a bad sector. So this is what I wanted to show. And if we go earlier, as you can see, there is more in the morning, more here, more. So the old hard drive had developed a lot of uh, bad sectors, as you can see. And that's one of the reasons why it wasn't booting or really slow in responding. But we don't have any more of those. It's just a Windows fixing up, repairing itself after the change of, um, after the cloning and just getting things ready. This will eventually become normal. It's going to do this. It's going to go through scan itself and repair file system, etc. But it won't be doing this every time it reboots. So it's one time only and also we'll leave the computer on and also leave indexing on indexing options if it's already off and should be on i won't do it yet Hmm, seems like we, we have no option here. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. And this is a 16 gig SSD, supposed to help. Supposed to help out. But I don't think it can help out at the moment as it's not utilized yet. And that's about it for this video. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.